So the next year I tried for the golf and that's what they had the machine. Aaron Murray here with the Players Lounge, and we are at the Mark shooting our content. We'll be doing it all off season, so make sure you check them out. They got the best rooms, the best amenities. They got uh, racquetball, they got a golf simulator, pools, lounges, hangout areas. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. So make sure you check them out right next to downtown Athens, the Mark. Go to their website and uh, go get your next spot for the next semester. So I uh, got a great crew, the crew that's going to be bringing you content all fall, Jacob Hardy. Miles Thorne, Warren Brinson, our guys here at TPL. Appreciate you boys getting a, another semester. Yes, sir. Appreciate Great it. Great content. Appreciate it. We're back. We're back. We are back. We, we are, are back. back. We are back. We are back. Running are back. we back, Warren? We're running it back. We are back with Players Lounge. We are running it back. <laughs> running back are we back? Or is it, we're, we are running the announcement. Back. The announcement's been made. The announcement has not been made yet, but the, it, it should be made soon. Like, maybe when y'all see this episode, y'all will have some more information on the whereabouts of Warren Brinson. Where is 97? Because everybody's been asking, you know. Everybody's no, been asking. We know. You you made the announcement already. It's Tuesday, like the 17th, so the announcement's been made. Yeah, we are back. Okay, we're back. We, are back. <laughs> we talked about this before the show. It's a live show. We are back. No, it's not live. <laughs> right. This isn't live. It's live on Tuesday. Bro, Bro what is it? Anyway, oh. he's back. He's when, back. When he's when back. Out, we are back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah when it comes out, we are back. That's what, no, not uh, we. You are back. No, I identify as we. We are back. Okay. Oh, All right. 2024. Okay. There we go. Warren Prince in December 97. Sporting the red and black. There we go. It was on his social. We're taping this a few days ahead of time before his big announcement. So for any of the confusion. Any of the confusion, we are back. We are back. All right, boys. Also, when the, this is coming out, we don't know if there's a decision on the, the, the new head coach for Alabama. Right. When you heard the news... First, first thought. I thought it was fake. Oh, man. I thought it was fake. <laughs> I was on the phone with Christian Miller. He has a really bad snore. He's like, Warren, Nick Saban, Nick Saban gone. Nick Saban gone. Saying the way he said, open up, open up, open up Instagram. <laughs> and it's just open Instagram. Nick Saban was gone. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Why you do Percy like that, bro? That was crazy. <laughs> Why you? I will say that. I will say that. I didn't know Percy was that bad until one time I was in the locker room. I went after like a 9 a.m. class to go get breakfast. And I thought the locker room was empty. Bruh, I'm in there eating my sandwich like, (sighs) I got scared as hell, bruh. He sounded like he sounded like he really fighting for his life. And his bro, it's, bro, <laughs> yes. It sounds like he's not gonna stop breathing. Yeah, so good. They say good now. Oh, really? Hey, he good, like, like, good. Nose good. Job or something like that. That's what's, I remember. Nose job. Not, like, not like a Michael Jackson nose job, but he got. Like, <laughs> Terrell had to Terrell had to move out of his room in fall camp. Because he was too loud. <laughs> that nigga Terrell came to me and was like, they, bro, I can't <laughs> fucking sleep. Bro. bro, third week of the season, his freshman year, they put me as his roommate. I was up to like 12 o'clock in the morning. I said, Coach, I can't do this no more. I, went, I put my covers and my pillow in the hallway and went to sleep. At like 1 o'clock in the morning in the hallway. Damn, right after that, too. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, but Percy's back, good now. Yeah, he's good Percy's now. Good. Nick Saban? Back, back to Nick. Back to Nick, man. That's back crazy. to Nick. It's not about Nick Saban leaving. It's about who's going to take the spot. That's really the biggest thing. Like, who's going to come fill that That. Board. Were any of you guys with Dan? Well, yeah, I was, I was, I was recruited, like, recruited, recruited by him, but no. Obviously, Dan seeing it at Oregon. Like, yeah, could you have seen him fit? No. I thought he was going there. I did too. That's what all the reports were saying. Now, people were asking. I was like, Nah, he's not going. He's, just, he's not working. He's been there for two seasons. Turn that program around. Yeah. I don't know if he really turned around. They, they were pretty dang good when he took over, but he's. They were decent when he took they over. Took, he, that NIL kicked in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that Nike yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. Recruiting, that recruiting Nike money is crazy. All right. For me, I was about to say for me though, like. You got a little white stuff in here. I talk. I talk. Appreciate that, man. That's a real teammate. But for me, like I talked earlier how I used to be an Alabama fan and whatnot. So my whole childhood all I knew was Nick Saban. Oh damn. And so now seeing him Did you shed a tear then? No, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> but I was happy. I mean, I think all of us was happy, but like I was happy. it's still like for me it was like a oh shit, I'm getting old. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. Getting old, yeah, Nick Saban retired. Facts. I'm old. Yeah, Bruh. Nick Saban retired for I was alive when Trent Richardson was still toting the ball. You know when you hit that one June against Mississippi State? Yeah. You were alive when Trent you guys are young as hell. I was alive with a lot of young, uh, older guys. <laughs> I mean, but like, like Trent Richardson, what? all due respect. Trent Richardson is yeah, like, 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 like my age. Girl. I know, but Trent Richardson, like, <laughs> been gone from Bama. Yeah. Like, that was almost a decade ago. 
And then seeing Bill Belichick leave too. Yeah, yeah you, you think they leave. you think they timed that out? Well, he's departing. Oh, he's, you yeah, think they timed that right out together? Huh? You think they timed that out together? Like, I'll announce mine now. You announce yours. Think Bill Belichick yeah. taking over Saban? You think so? No. Nah. <laughs> nah. Bill I couldn't see Bill, I couldn't see Bill Belichick coaching college. Yeah, nah, you know I'm just yeah, here. Nah. We're focused on we're focused on Georgia. Yeah, he's not week. dealing with recruits. Uh-uh. We're focused he's on Georgia. He's not actually. dealing with recruits. Yeah, yeah, we're just focused on. Georgia. Would you guys week. want the job <laughs> if you're a coach? Oh, no. Taking over for the man. No, no. Yeah, because I don't feel like people went, went to Alabama to go to Alabama. They went to Alabama to get coached by Nick Saban. Yeah. Fact. I don't well, know because Alabama was wasn't like, bad. So Alabama was never bad though, even before they got Saban. Who was the guy? Bear Bond. That, I mean, that's like you yeah, skipping like, like you skipping yeah. almost a century of <laughs> coaches. Like, I don't know who their coaches were before, but like they weren't like Bama was never a bad. Yeah, name, the co- never been name the coach before Nick Saban. You can't name the coach before Mark Rick. All right. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't say Dooley because you no, said Dan Bryant. Dooley. It's not Dooley. It's co- it's, dang, he just texted me like last week. It's Coach Smart's coach. Dang, what's his name? Coach, coach. Uh, just like they say about the Bama coach, you, you know don't know. Is, He's always there. You always went to Jordan's. When I went to Jordan's all the time. Jim yeah, Coach. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ain't gonna lie. I didn't even know that. Exactly. I knew it. What's his name? Sort of. Uh, Jim Donnie. Jim Donnie. Shout out him. Shout out Jim Donnie. <laughs> but not. Jackson Ooh. Muschamp in the in the crowd helped yeah. us with our Georgia knowledge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That guy right there. Jackson Muschamp. All right. So I want to ask you the question then. When you commit to a university, are you committing to a university or are you committing to a coach? Coach. You committed to a coach. Coach. Committed to a coach. Yeah. Sure. So is that, is that because of the, the, the new era of college football with all the transfers? Like there's less loyalty to the university, more loyalty to the coach? Well, I not feel like most coaches have less loyalty to the university because most coaches are looking for like vertical integration trying to figure out yeah. how to get out of there. And I feel like if they, they're the ones that recruit, I mean, it doesn't really matter what brand yeah. or whatever they got on. It's, they're the ones that came to your house and sat yeah. there and recruited you yeah. and whatnot. So like you see them get up and go to uh, California or whatever. You still built that relationship, so you still probably want to know Jerry Moorhead didn't come to my house. <laughs> 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 nah, That's right. Jerry Moorhead. Yeah, but <laughs> Warren comes to the Georgia. pushback on that Warren. I was you. I always feel like the coach is the brand of the university, though. Like Maybe. Kirby is Georgia. Nick was oh, yeah. Alabama. Yeah, 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 I feel yeah. like at those schools, though. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna just name a school. No disrespect to him, but like, let's say uh, Virginia Tech. I don't know their head coach, but like, yeah. he's not the face of their school. But who is that? The players, the school itself. Yeah, but can you name a Virginia Tech player? Like right now? Yeah. Well, I got, I know dudes on Virginia Tech. Okay, so you do <laughs> like, know, okay, okay. Zeke Wimbush, shout out my boy. Yeah. Uh, I know some players on Virginia Tech. Monsor Delane, shout out to him. <laughs> but like, I think I like the blue, blue, you know, us, Bama. Texas. Texas. Michigan, Ohio Michigan, State. Michigan, Ohio State, like you, their coaches more drive that. Maybe even USC. Stuff like that, but like I don't think on an average basis the yeah. coach is the school. I mean, I think Kirby is the face of Georgia. I would say, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Kirby might be the like, face of college football now. Right. Kirby's now, yeah. the only coach that looks like a fan of his school. Like, that's you, facts. If you identify a Georgia fan, look at Kirby Smart. <laughs> he do though. Kirby Smart looks like the team. He do though. Georgia like he look what do you call starter pack? <laughs> yeah, if they had a Georgia, Georgia fan starter pack, it would be coach Kirby. Advisors. Uh, socks, no sandals, no socks. Coach, I didn't say, I didn't say none of that. Don't make me run. He embodies. He embodies. <laughs> it's it's real, though. He, he it's real, he do. Don't give a piss about nothing but a dog. He embodies. <laughs> them, <laughs> for real. Hey, do you feel bad for coaches? Why? On what? For sucking? No, no, no. I'm just talking about like the di- like the, the big talk was coaches are getting pushed out of this league. Harbaugh, if Harbaugh does leave, I don't know if by the time this run. Saving with all the stuff they got to deal with NIL, mm-hmm. transfer portal, recruiting, academics, knuckleheads, mm-hmm. kids oh, getting in trouble. I, mean, I know thing. it comes with the job, but like s- scouting, film, all that stuff. Like, do you, do you, do you feel bad for the, the, all the obligations and the time they spend away for their, for their family? Like, does that ever cross your mind? I respect it. Okay. I'll say, I don't know if I necessarily feel bad, but I respect it. Yeah. Like, I respect what they do, you know. Yeah. They're seeing us more than they're seeing their own sons and daughters, yep, their wives, all that stuff. So I definitely respect it and appreciate it, but I don't know if I'd say I feel bad. I can't feel bad. At the end of the day, that's like somebody feeling bad for me for having to go run. I signed up for it. <laughs> you signed up to be a coach. You know what I mean? Like, it sucks. Like, yeah. I don't want to wake up at 6 a.m. and go run. But you chose to do it. But I chose to do it. Yeah. I knew what I signed yep. up for. Yep. Comes True. with the job. Plus, they're getting paid. Yeah, plus, you get paid. A lot. A lot. A lot. Players are getting more than coaches. The goal is be a coach. 
and then get fired <laughs> at like 45. Be a coach, get a yeah. crazy gig, and be asked for two years and get out of there and just sit do, around. Do what just Jimbo, Jimbo did. Fisher. Jimbo Fisher. Do Jimbo. Get $75 million to go chill. Go chill. Get $75 million. You know, low, go to low Texas, buy a recruits. cheap house. I know that's what he did. <laughs> chill. Get his big chill. check, go to Texas, buy a cheap house. I heard that uh, like when it comes to like doing buyouts and stuff like that, all the boosters get together and be like, all right, let's play poker. Whoever loses, you got to pay Jimbo's buyout. <laughs> you think it's like that? Like all the boosters? No, the there's, no the way. there's no <laughs> way. They're poker. playing poker with seventy-five million dollars. It's oil money. I mean, yeah, but like they might be splitting it. I don't think one person's doing the buyout. You pay his buyout. I think it's like you might pay. It's like Russian roulette at dinner, you know? Literally, but yeah, for the buyout. Yeah. Just, just that's a crazy. More. I think they do that. No, yeah, rich people do crazy stuff. I'm trying to get yeah. bought out. You trying, trying to, to find out? Yeah. What? 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 Seventy-five. There were. <laughs> no, what? There were, I didn't even say it like you that. You trying to get bought out where? That was crazy. Anybody else? Like? In the comments, y'all. <laughs> hey. In the comments, y'all, y'all comment if that was crazy or not. I think that was crazy. Nah, 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 I think that was crazy. You trying to get bought out. I was like, what does that mean? Uh, you do something strange with a piece of change? Bro. <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> can you elaborate out. on that, Miles? Hey, can we move on? All right, let's move on. Uh, new team, new year, new team. Yeah. How do you uh, how do you break in the new guys? Yeah, you to, uh, do, you, do you treat <laughs> do you treat a portal guy different than a, than a freshman? Nah, I've been talking to all the portal guys. Uh, Etn, he's cool as hell. Like yeah. me and Etn have had some good conversations. I was talking about earlier. Etn is really a really cool guy. Uh, I talked to Michael Jackson today. Michael Jackson is a crazy name, but I talked to Michael today. <laughs> what is it a crazy name? Man, his name is Michael Jackson the third. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him was he related to him. That's fair. <laughs> the third would make me think they're related. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. I the think third. they're all cool. You look at them because they have a little bit more maturity and they know probably the ropes more about college football than, than the freshmen. Yeah. But some of these professional, nah, they're not. I'm not gonna say they're pros. They're just freshmen. But those other guys, they come in all quiet because you know. You already have like bonds formed at other teams, so now you're coming in. I trying to break it down, but I try my hardest to make it feel like, like it's still a family. Like you in a new spot, but guess what? We gonna accept you. You gotta go through the ground with us. So let me come talk to you, see what your name is, how you doing, yeah. Warren, so and so like that. Get I think like out of stuff. they're coming out tonight. I think like the culture, like Coach Kirby and the staff built, like with the skull sessions, everything we do, like you kind of build that environment for yeah. family. So like when we see somebody, it's not like. Man, who is this dude coming in? It's yeah. more like, yo, let's bring him in with us. Yeah. Invite him. If we're going out to eat or doing something as a group, let's bring yeah. him with us. You don't call him Gator? What do you mean? <laughs> Y'all call each other Gator? No, no, no. I'm talking about. He's talking about ETN. Nah, no, I just call him. I call him no, has anyone said anything about, about like going from Florida to Georgia? He flipped no, to our side. So really he me. told me why he left. I don't, I don't feel like he probably wants to out there, but yeah. he told me why he left. They will bring him on a show. Yeah, he probably could. You said we're going to do the, uh, the Come on. all the people. Yeah. I'll get him on the show. Come on. He seems like he talks a lot too. He's kind of he's shorter in person. You played against him. You should know how big is he, he is. And pads is different and though. Pads is I'll different. say yeah. I'm short. I look bigger in pads. I'm deceiving. Oh, yeah. Nah, you don't. Cleats. Bro, so I'm deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe that. I'm like six three in pads. <laughs> <laughs> League bound. League. Hey, NBA bound. You know who is big? The offensive line. The freshman. Off, off the lineman. Like, what was your first thought when you saw some of like the six seven guys? Daniel, Daniel Calhoun I is huge, Calhoun. bro. He's all right. Calhoun is, <laughs> He's all right. Calhoun is big. He's a high school kid. He's all right. Okay. I like I like Dan I He's like Daniel. Now, baby. <laughs> I like Daniel. What I when I knew he was big is when I saw the neck roll. Oh yeah, yeah. He is the uh, only lineman roll, that bro. wears a old fashioned neck roll. I'm like, put it on his pads day one. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. this oh. kid's coming out here ready to mall. I was about to say he don't care about nothing. He <laughs> no, don't care don't about care a about neck about injury. Life. Like he just like, I'm putting my... fifty five. Like, yeah, I don't care. Go. <laughs> Power <laughs> eye, Where? run the ball. He don't nah, want nothing. Daniel Calhoun. Him. He had a yeah. neck pad. I was like, bro, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. He's striking. <laughs> he came for business. When y'all see Daniel Calhoun and you see that neck pad, you know he came for business. And his hair wasn't that either. It was nappy hair. I was like, oh, he's straight from projects. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. This kid is this kid's wild. <laughs> I see the no haircut. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> the no haircut is nuts. Oh, uh, mm. hey, what about the kid from Vandy? Uh, oh, 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 oh London. 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 London, London. I like London. London's a cool dude. London's I talked cool. to him when we were in Miami for the Orange Bowl, like real quick. He's a nice dude. He was telling me like cool. you know about how he likes George and he likes about I don't want to make it sound like he said anything bad about Vandy because he didn't. But he just said he liked. I mean, you, he it's liked like being it. here. Yeah. He said it was really refreshing and new and yeah, it was not like, better. It was, not like, <laughs> but, <laughs> was there not the like? Huh? Was there not the like compared from George to Yeah. You guys, Cam. I said, what up, what up, <laughs> fast, fast white guy? 
Nice to meet you, Warren. Is he fast? It's fast. He's fast. Oh my He's god! I remember my first play against Vandy. This kid caught a slant. We were, they were like the thirty-five, maybe twenty-five. I turned around. I was like, "Damn, this is a white flash just running down the field." He's going to touchdown. And he's taller than you think. Too. I mean, obviously, he's tall too. there's going to be like six. Uh, you're the receiver. Yeah. Where there's going to be the comparisons of him and Vlad. Him and Vlad. Because they're, they're white. Because yeah. they're white. Yeah. Right. And they're probably going to place that like, like, what, are, what? How would you break him down based on what you've seen from? I was about to say, I don't know. I feel like. He's nice. He's nice. They got you, you they got two different like, games. We practice in Miami. He's nice. He's, he's nice. nice. Huh? He's like six two. So he's he's nice. tall. Yeah. Puglisi yeah. was slinging that thing too. Puglisi is nice. Puglisi is nice. Ryan Puglisi is cold. Forget that Dylan kid. Puglisi is nice. Ryan is cold. Bro. Ryan is cold. <laughs> like he's nice. Nice. Him, and, him and Landon, bro. We were practicing. Coach plays. We were London. watching film. London, yeah. Coach played in the film. Bro, Puglisi threw like he was running. I guess it's it's hard to do this quarterback. He was running to like away from his throwing arm. Blicked it to him, back corner of the end zone, landed, caught the ball. I was like, we looked at that throw. We probably watched it like five times a day. I'm not going to lie. When he came, when nice. Puglisi had his first practice, I saw, we were like watching. We were doing like seven on seven. We're on scout, you know, the uh-huh. mid-year scout on scout. Uh-huh. And we're watching. He's just dicing. He's I'm slinging like, it. I mean, just flicking that. We're ball. all looking like we, like dudes behind him are forgetting to go nice. in because we're all just like, wow, he's really <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Everybody's just like, astonished. Like, yo, he's cold. Yeah. Like he was making some throws against the, like the starters. I like to hear that. Jeez. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he was Jeez. making some throws against the starters and he's both practice. Yeah, he's nice. He's I like him. Artie's like just confident. Yeah, yeah, he was oh, cool. Like, I, was, I, was in his, I was in his face talking shit to him, like before the plays, you know, trying to get him. Yeah, he doesn't even phase him. Big kid? Uh, probably about six, solid. Three, six, two, six, three, mm-hmm. two, ten. His stature is solid too. too. He's solid. Yeah. Like Carson's yeah. statue. Yeah. Carson's a big boy. Yeah, Carson is big. Yeah. Carson's thick. All right. Like, come on now. Simmer down. He's thick, isn't he? He's a nice guy. Just like, what? what? I'm gonna say this. Right, I'm right, no right, the generational what? difference no, here. There's, like, what's there's certain on? words I just wouldn't That's say weird, describing right? a dude. You feel me? Bro, Muscular, like, stocky. Bro, I was having this argument. Aki. With, I was having this argument with Javon. I mean, thick is the best Willard. way to discover. I mean, Javon's kind of thick too. That's not what I was going to say. Swole. 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 Okay, fine. Swole. Swole. But, but uh, not Carson's not like swole. swole. Javon was talking He's about thick. Lad, and he was like, man, Lad getting girthy. <laughs> okay, and I said, what? That's, 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 that's Don't cut that clip. This is not that clip. This is not me. Hey, I want y'all to crop that just to where he says Lad in the end. Don't do that. That was Javon. Hey. Javon Buller said that. That's a you really gonna say that when he go into the draft? I don't care. <laughs>